Hey guys, welcome to Epoxy Live. It's five. We're here at the Oregon based Stone Coat Countertop headquarters. We're excited for our show. I'm Mike. This is Catherine. Hi guys. And we're here tonight to show you all things epoxy. If you're a woodworker, an artist, you have a project that you have been wanting to tackle with epoxy, you've come to the right place. We're going to have a fun time tonight. Mike, what type of project are we going for? We're going to have some fun. We're going to reveal what we're going to do to light it up right after this. Our epoxy rocks, stone cold countertops. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, if you haven't seen what we do here at Stone Coat Countertops, we make epoxy videos, everything epoxy, from woodworking to art, for entrepreneurs, for do-it-yourselfers, for creators, and everything in between. Do you have an old surface or a new surface? We're going to show you on this channel how to renew it and make it look like natural stone and crazy things from there. <laughs> so we're having fun. We actually have a really big announcement. I want Mitch to take that over. He's got a great announcement for you guys. Hey guys, I'm back at it. Been at the hospital last week with this beautiful baby boy. Mama and baby are here, happy and healthy. And I'm back behind the command center of Stone Coat Countertops Epoxy Live. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to Mitch and Angie. What do you yeah. think of that baby? Oh my gosh, he's like my favorite thing to snuggle right now. His mom is so generous and she keeps letting... So th that's my nephew, just so that you're aware of why they would be so generous in letting me hold this baby. But every time I get a chance, I just get to go and he is so beautiful and precious. And we just keep sending that love and those prayers for that family. They're doing really good. Angie's doing well. Um, but they definitely could still use that extra little attention. So we are thrilled to have you back, Mitch, and so happy you're back to help us get, right. get to work tonight. So that'll be fun. Chris will be grabbing some up close shots. I just want to give a big shout out again to Angie Mitch. That baby's amazing. Uh, Mitch has four boys. We got four boys. No girls. Goodness. So give Mitch a big thumbs up and uh, and tell him good job for having that baby. Crush uh, that like Well, button. I guess for Angie having that baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get into what we're going to do tonight. We have a really cool clip that we've put together. And I don't want to spoil it because this clip is going to show you what we saw and it's going to blow your mind, right? It is amazing. Yeah, show them that. Check Mitch. it out. Hey guys, have you seen what Debbie Smith has been making and sharing on our Stone Coat Countertop Insiders page? Her art is stunning, it's amazing, and it really caught my attention. I saw this project. Debbie has created flames. She showed us a tutorial on her YouTube channel and I absolutely loved it. Debbie has used yellow, red, and black translucent to make these flames pop. They look fun, this project looks awesome, and I'm gonna test it out right now. Debbie, I wanna thank you for sharing your art with us, and I wanna congratulate you for winning the You Got This Award. You got this. Deborah Smith. You got this. this. What do you think of that piece that it she made? It's so pretty. I'm super stoked. I love I love what you did there. I'm super excited. Yeah, Can Deborah, that, <laughs> that is uh, that is awesome. So go to Stone Coat Countertop Insiders. The projects, the tidbits of information, the gold nuggets that you're going to find there. If you're interested in epoxy, that's the group for you. Yeah. That group is going to tell you from professionals to hobbyists what people do on their projects. It's given us a lot of ideas. So tonight we're learning from Debbie. I watched her video. It's awesome. Uh, we took some clips, but to see the full video, go check her out. It's yeah. She has an awesome channel. Amazing artist. Yeah. Debbie, I hope you're watching. Good job. You got this. So we're going to do some flames. Awesome. We're going to light, light it up. up I love up. it. <laughs> Mitch, uh, you missed your. You I missed did. it, dude. Took it. I you took did it. it. Dang it. Uh, we, had, <laughs> we had a plan, Dang and, it. and Mike just it's took it. Good. Dang he it. He took the spotlight. All right, we'll, we'll do it another time. All right, guys. So, what I'm going to do, shake this up, honey. Right. I'm going to do a variation of this, but I want to do an underpainting. And what I gathered from Debbie there, I hope it's Debbie. Is it Debbie or yes. Deborah? Uh, okay. Debbie, um, she didn't like her original piece that she tried with flames. So she went over that. 
she just covered her her existing piece so she didn't have to use another canvas and she went over it so she, so that underpainting what she went over ghosted through right and that was really cool so we're gonna have something to ghost through and we'll see how it works out okay? I like that plan. so this is mine that's yours we're gonna do the same technique and just see the variation of it cool right yes so I'll use a little yellow you use a little red then we'll switch swap Okay, that's all I want. All right, here you go. Okay, guys, uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask those in the comment section. Also, let us know where you're tuning in from. It's fun to watch back at the comments and see worldwide where people are tuning in from. It's amazing the reach that YouTube has made small business be able to grab. So thanks a lot. Let us know where you're from. And any questions that you ask, we'll get to as many as we can. But if you need questions, urgent questions, call us anytime for free project support. All right. There's some red. I like that underpainting. I do uh, So you can see that a little bit, Mitch. So, oh, yeah. Catherine, I like you, you kind of toned yours down. I got a little more. That's cool. Yeah. And we have a bunch of clear epoxy in these cups. Nice. So we mixed that epoxy off camera. So we got to, uh, our stone coat countertop epoxy mixed, and we're going to play with some colors. So Debbie, she used three colors. She used a yellow, she used a red, right. and she used a black translucent. That's right. key, is that translucent, right? right? So adding a little bit of black is going to keep our epoxy translucent. So you know what I'm gonna do? What do you wanna do? Is I'm gonna put a lot more black in this one. Okay. Okay? Sure. And that's because that's gonna be what we rub on the whole piece, because we wanna create a slip and slide. Correct. We want this color to be able to slip and move when we drag it. Now right. you got some paper ready for us. You want to explain what that's for? Yeah, so I went and I got, this is just regular wax paper, but we get this for when we have like stickers or different things. And so I just went and took it and we're going to use that. This is what she used for some rigidity and she made her flames using that and dragging that. So I have a lot here. Um, you can just get that from, you know, anywhere just regular wax paper would work, but I had some just from our work. So that's what I got. So I just dipped the tip of the spoon in our black, okay. Okay? okay? And what I like to do, the reason I like to do that is because you keep it nice and clean. You don't get anything on those threads. Right. I'm gonna seal that back up. Okay. Now this is a cool test. Uh, I found this red base tint. This is from two years ago. Oh, so this nice. is This is our old Wait, lid, our old label. Can we can we show them it so they believe us? Two years old, <laughs> Chris will Maybe show, the blue. Chris will show that. That's a two year old base tint. Opened it up, perfect. Nice. Brand Let's new. check it. Let's check it. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, so you're you're good to go. Good deal. Uh, the deal here is it wasn't opened. Okay. Right. So if you want your base tints to last, seal the lid or put them in something that's airtight after you use it. Um, also, don't get a bunch of stuff on the threads, and it'll be easy to open. If you do get gunk on the threads, heat gun, warm it up, it'll pop. Okay. Squeeze bottles, ketchup condiments, squeeze bottles, boom, perfect. You right. know, you just gave them some real good pro tips there, but you forgot to say the pro tip. Okay, pro I got tip. a pro tip right now. This pro <laughs> tip is a translucent effect. I barely put any black in there. Nice. And the way that you could tell how translucent it is, is by sticking something in there that you could read the writing. Okay. See how you can see through to that writing? I can, yeah. That's what you Whoa. can tell, okay? All right. Show that to B-roll one more time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, higher. Right there. Cool. Yeah. Totally. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Nice. All right, so um, you're going to be our mixer. We're going to make a little bits of this. Okay. And uh, you know what? Can you even these two out a little bit for me? Yeah. All right. Sure. Hey, Mike, while you're mixing that, you mind an uh, answering uh, Doyle here, and he asks, how did you prep the boards before painting? Why don't you tell him, Mitch? All right, so what we do there, that is half inch MDF. That's what we use for our sample boards here. And uh, Mike used a router around it over the top edge. That helps that epoxy flow uh, evenly over the edges. And then it was two coats of bare paint and primer in one. And uh, what that tinted black. Yeah, we have a really good uh, series that, that we're working on right now. And that series is epoxy easy one two three and so we're going to get back to the basics we're going to teach people how to mix we're going to teach people how to router we're going to teach people about the basic epoxy tools we're going to teach a plethora 
of techniques that are easy as one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's coming up. We actually have the first one done. Chris has just been doing great. Luke's been doing great on those. And so questions like that are so good. And that's why, oh, you're right. Thank you. Uh, that's why we're getting after that. And we're really going to teach those techniques. And they are so effective, so simple, but they're colors that are timeless, right? Uh, Mitch, you saw our samples that we made for those that series. Uh, What'd yeah. you think, man? I, I really liked them. I, uh, I've been out for a few days, had the week off with the wife and new baby, and I came back to the uh, film studio here and was like, whoa, can't wait to see those videos. <laughs> All right, so I'm using these little plastic spoons. I really like them, and we're just adding some color. Very nice. All right. People tuning in from all over the place, Mitch? Oh, yeah. North Dakota, Arizona, all over the place. It's awesome. So these are just our normal base color tints, right, Mike? Yeah, that's red. That's yellow, our base color tints. That's black. Now we're getting into the metallics. Good question. We're going to use dark red. We're going to use clay. And this was your idea. Why don't you talk about that one? So I... Um, well, I wanted to use something so like in fire and flames, oftentimes you'll see something that's like shimmery or, or bright. So Mike pulled out the purple mountain uh, per, or purple mountain. I actually over here had gotten a couple other colors out, seeing if maybe we want to do these later too, but I got Crater Lake Blue out or Violet. Um, this would be good for just like a light colors, but we just wanted to, to give us an opportunity to maybe build on those flames, just depending on what we end up coming up with tonight. You know, I just wanted to give us some other opportunity. Well, we don't have to use the clay. We can go. Wow. Yeah, that's the red. We're good. Whoa. I really want to use the gold dust. I really like this gold dust. It's it's just another, whoa, uh, another level of depth. You know, because it doesn't do what a base does. It doesn't do what a metallic does. It's its it's its own animal, basically. Mitch, oh, this is one of your so favorite cool. additives, isn't it? It sure is. It, yes. It really is. Okay. That gold dust can also be mixed. Um, if you use a translucent like that black or a real translucent color, you put a heavy amount of that gold dust, it will show through, sparkle, and shine with that black. Okay, gotcha. That's cool, man. All right, so Catherine, do you want to then, we got a little bit left here. I got a little Do you want to do blue? Can we do, can we do these two and the little ones we have left? And, and not do the purple or the clay. You oh, want to throw an audible? How about we use two other little cups and just break them up a little bit? All right, we're just going to make these flames. <laughs> fire! Let's girl is on fire. Oh, now I'm the one singing, Mitch. Come on. <laughs> that was my line. <laughs> it was? Yeah, we I were going to part of that. We were going to surprise Catherine. So, should we just tell them what we we're going to do, Mitch? <laughs> yeah. So, so we talked about this before the live and I was like, "All right, buddy, after Deborah's uh so I came right after wrestling practice. I'm totally. coaching the middle school wrestling team. I'm totally feel like every day I'm in a car accident cuz I'm so sore cuz my son's beat me up and all those kids <laughs> and uh we made that clip and I said, "Mitch, after that clip, dude, you got to just bust out That girl is on fire." <laughs> yes. Yes, so he was going to do that, and I was going to stand here like this. <laughs> and and that was our plan, and I, I, I just missed it. I'm that's so hard. sorry. So that's your replay, guys. Mitch, good. So, so here's get, the deal. Mitch, Mitch just earned the You Got This Award, <laughs> so, man. The other thing with Finally. that yes. is, is that you should know that they actually don't overplan much of these lives. We do go into detail about what we're going to do here, but that is as much planning for uh, an audible situation as I've ever heard. So yes. That's pretty cool. That was so cool. Right. So these colors. Mitch has some pipes. Yeah, he does. Right? Yeah, he does. I was supposed to be the singer in our family, but that's not the case. That's <laughs> that not girl, if you guys think that girl is on fire, crush the light button. <laughs> crush it. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. All right. Here goes that violet pearl, honey. Oh, yay. All right. All right, and then we do have clay. Man, we're going crazy with this. We're going nuts. We'll see. We'll see, because we, we can. So, why so not? next week, uh, on our way to Las Vegas to uh, hook up with Bronson and his class. He's got a really cool epoxy school, 
and yeah. we're excited to. I just got off the phone with him on our way here. Yeah. He is. He has uh, got his sample boards prepped and rocking and rolling. I'm, I'm proud of Bronson. I am excited to be a part of that class. Thank you, Bronson. It'll be super fun. Well, that'll be a fun class. All right. Oh, Vegas. And then Something finally, cool. the purple. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this color. Uh, uh, viewer here is asking, will the new blue glow powder work with the floor epoxy? Yeah, it sure will. Uh, that blue glow powder will work with any of our epoxies. And you know, what we're finding out is a lot of the glue, the glow powders that we tested would really make the epoxy milky. We're really happy with, with the one that we chose because it doesn't, uh, but the more you use, the more vibrant it is. It's really vibrant when you add a lot. It, it's really heavy. It acts a lot different than our metallics. It acts, really it's, it's, it, boom, it just sinks. And so mix it really well and pour it out immediately. Don't let it settle, okay? okay. Mix early and often. <laughs> we, uh, we got some cool floor content in the works for you guys. Yeah. And I think we're gonna have to just throw some glow powder in the floor. Well, now we are. Yeah. Thanks for the good idea. Hey, Mike, I've seen this one come through a couple times here from Rob Young. He's asking, is stone coat countertop epoxy stable for outside use in all seasons? Rob, is that his name? Uh, yeah. Rob, good question. So a lot of folks have asked that question, and our recommendation is not to use epoxy that's been tinted white. We do have very good UV inhibitors. We have hulls. We have good... Uh, a, a, a good light fastness, but we don't recommend a white outside because it's going to prematurely amber. And so if you do do an outdoor project and it's important to you, cover it when you're not using it. Uh, just like a high-end boat, it's going to fade, it's going to amber, and outside is harsh. All seasons, that's a good, that's a good question. When you're in, you know, North Dakota, it's pretty doggone cold. When you're in Arizona, it's pretty crazy intense. And so um, I would recommend doing a project and testing it, but a lot of people have used our product outside. They love it, but you don't. we don't want to oversell until you put something white outside and it's going to look beautiful next year. Worst case scenario, if you don't like the way it looks, put a new coat on it. That's the beautiful thing about this product is you, you can really evolve your project according to the trends. If you're the person who likes to change their paint color a lot in their house, this is probably what you want to do. So you can change it and it's not going to break the bank. We actually just heard, yeah, go ahead. Well, it's fun. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. having an excuse to do fun projects is, is not a bad idea. I think it's really fun. So. All right, let's jump into this. So All right. what we're going to do is we're going to put the slip and slide coat on. Okay? okay. And that's just going to let us, and it's just a very thin coat. And I like to use my hands here. Just like Debbie. Debbie did yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. If Debbie did it, we can do it, right? Okay. And I like that we talk long enough to let that undercoat just roll nice and dry. We yeah, really good that, point. You know, you know, really. Good point. You don't want to go too fast. Um, you, you, you really, ideally, you let that spray paint dry. But we're in the world of live video, so. What do you think? Mine is dry. Yeah, it is. Mine's good. I'm taking it off my paint pyramids. Nice. All right. Oh, you can still see that nice, too. Really good. That translucent uh, pro tip is really key there. Yes. All right. And then before we grab a bunch of tools, we're going to use our paper towel and just clean our hands off a little bit, right? You don't have to change your gloves every time, but paper towels are your friend. And in fact, they're one of our epoxy tools on our epoxy tutorial on tools. <laughs> Coincidence? Right. I think not. Okay. So... I'm going to, now what do you think? Do you think we should make our flames this way or this way? Well, I set mine up to do it this way, but you can do whatever you, because I saw you kind of went different. I decided to do mine directionally when I was doing my splatters, just like you would see in flames. Right, you right, can see right. I made bigger splatters than you did. Way better. So, no, not better, just bigger. And so um, that's what I had planned. So you can do, I don't know what you did. I think I'll go this way too. Okay. I think I'll do that too. Um, let's just start grabbing our colors and doing our technique here. All right. All right. Okay. 
This is hard work. I know. We have a really tough job right now. All right, this is gonna be cool. What do you think, Chris? Ooh, slip and slide. Shake and bake. <laughs> Shake and bake, man. And bake. <laughs> That's all there is to Sorry. say. Shake and bake. So Ryan's asking, will your epoxy work well over concrete? And Ryan, yes, it definitely does. You're gonna to wanna to do one quick seal coat before doing a, a coat like you're seeing here tonight. And that seal coat is mixed up at one ounce per square foot of mixed epoxy, applied really thin, let it dry, come back the next day and you can apply your three ounce per square foot coat. Oh, that's cool. That violet pearl is awesome. Thank you, Catherine, for making us use that. Yeah, I'm glad you got some pearl in there. Ooh, you got some blue? A little bit. Catherine's got a hot dog going. Okay. Yeah, a little <laughs> mustard. I do. He just called you hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> Hot diggity dog. Hot diggity dog. All right, we got some purple action. I'm going to put that, just a little line of that. And then I'm going to go a little line of blue, and I'm going to swipe it. Right. Oh, that looks like candy right there. Yeah. I love that crater like blue. One of my favorite colors. Yeah. It is your favorite. You're loving it. Okay, so I'm just gonna tear a chunk of this. Where'd you get this paper? From our shipping area. <laughs> okay, this is just label paper. The key is it's glossy. That's about right. all it needs to be. Glossy. It doesn't even need to be glossy. I've seen guys do cardboard and paper and anything in between so real expensive tool and i think i'm just gonna I, I saw debbie use multiple pieces yeah so i'm gonna plagiarize her technique and see what we can do okay okay here okay, we go right. good luck to you good luck to you here. all right i think if i watched her video right she said do that not there mike not there man I'm liking this, man. Dang. Push right at that top edge, too. A little yeah, I did it way too wide. Oh, that was cool. I'm not having an anxiety attack. Silly. Did she push it all the way down? What do you think, Mike? You got some pro tips over there. You're doing good. I think the key is to finish, to finish keep going tight. tall. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it again. And different amounts of pressure, I think, maybe. Okay. We're watching it live here, folks. Oh, this is going to be fun. I have not tested this before. I like the different colors that are coming in. Mm -hmm. It's quiet, honey. I almost want to bag this paper. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm getting the technique down. I think I'm gonna get it better. Yours looks awesome, honey. Hey, Mike, uh, dateless, uh, dateless. Dateless Concepts here just says he went surfing today. Decent waves, little chilly, air 34 degrees on his Ooh. surfboard he built. Where's he surfing? New York. Dang. That's awesome, dude. Or Jersey, perhaps. I'm not sure. Hey, good job getting back for us, though, man. You made it in time. You didn't make it back, we'd be highly disappointed. I really like the gold dust. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna heat this heat up a little up. bit. Yeah. That's some heavy metal flames there. They're, yeah, they're telling me to heat tell Mitch, tell them to heat it. They read your mind. See, what's cool about the opposing product is it, it separates as it sits. So you really get cool effects after it sits a second too. It's already starting to spread. Yeah. 
I think I see how it's really riding that transparent layer too. Oh yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna bring in some of that blue at the tip because that's kind of where you see the blue is it licks the end, right, of those flames. Put some purple up there. And I'm going to take that paper. Oh no, I might want to swipe on top of this. Check yours out. Yours is tight, babe. Not yet. Okay. I'm going to up my game. Oh, this is cool right there. that up a little bit more. Oops, sorry. Let me give you back your gun. I like that you're putting another layer on. I'm going to try it. I really want to try. Oh, that's cool. Yours looks great, babe. It looks real, man. What do you think, Mitch? I'm liking it. This has been a fun one to film. I think it's fun. The heavier colors cool. sit at the bottom. I really like the blue and the purple that is really subtle at the top. I think this would make a fun piece of art, man. Goodness. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this over the end here a little bit. And I'm just going to rub this edge. And you got to know when to quit, so I'm done. Yours is awesome. I'm done with that. Can I go off script? What are you going to do? Can I fog it? Yeah, you can, can do whatever you want. The towels, is that okay? Totally. I wanted to see with some black. What do you, What do they think, Mitch? Should I keep going or do do ask them? Uh, what do you guys think? Should I keep going or uh, should I should I be done with it? Uh, some of them are saying to have Catherine heat before she swipes. Heat it again. Heat right after you did your lines to heat, but it looked good to me. It looks great. That looked awesome. Heat it first. Mm -hmm. You guys can teach me. I like that. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell That's them what cool. to do. Oh yeah, it would have pushed it over a little bit more and created some more veins. What? Uh, I got a question. Mike, they're asking right now, which do you prefer, heat gun or torch? You know, uh, heat gun is really forgiving. It, it allows you to paint with air. You can really push things. And that's what I think for this, it's perfect tool of choice. Um, a torch is great for popping bubbles and moving things really fast. I like to uh, move certain things with a uh you know what i would do yeah, grab some of that yellow and drag a stick in there to get some highlights of yellow no, no, no. that spray paint some are saying for you to tilt some are saying keep going it's hard i gotta start keeping a tally the comments are flying by that's what's fun about art honestly and that's what's fun about making a small sample you get to have a good time and you get to experiment and, and my hardest thing, I think the reason that we uh, fight so much is we don't know when to stop. 
We fight? <laughs> Are you kidding? Well, epoxy fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys, come on. My whole team, right? Well, we have been married for 15 years. So, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this out, and I, uh, I got a little epoxy left here. Guys, should I hit? Should I go? Should I try this one more time? Should we do another one, Mitch? Yeah, I'd say the vote is yes. I'm gonna keep playing with mine if you can keep doing. You want to do the next one? By yourself? Yeah, I'm just gonna hit an. I, I felt I like, like you, this a lot. you dominated technique here, and I, I and I, I I'm just got still lucky. learning it. We were right. getting half 50 50 when they took it upon themselves to vote on the pieces. Thank oh. you. <laughs> You're so generous. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. You know that I love the vote. Work that yellow. It'll it'll ex it'll give you highlights in the now now it's it's. There, you're you're good, you're good. Oh, I didn't pre-fog it, did I? Oops. Hey, Mike. A customer asks if the Las Vegas event is sold out or not. You know, we're selling good tickets for that. Um, the whole great question. Thank you. Thank you for asking that question. We are working so hard on that event. It is going to be a massive value. Um, we do not want people to come out, spend time in our event, and not go home saying, I cannot believe what that what we gleaned from that event. Yeah. Not only are you going to get information that will help your, your small business, your woodworking business, your art business, uh, anything that you're trying to take your craft or something you're good at making, and you want to learn how to market that, and maybe turn a side hustle into a little bit more full-time, or, or maybe your goal is to use what you know how to do to pay your house payment or, or, or a car payment or take your wife on vacation. Whatever it is your goals are in 2019, we're gonna teach you and 12 other people are gonna teach you how they turn their craft into cash. This is not a facade or a joke. It's real world people who have done this and nobody followed the same route. So you get to learn 12 different routes 12 different unlocks that may apply to exactly what you're doing or you'll be able to take something away that will honestly change your business and ultimately change your life. Right. And so we're going to uh, uh, keep selling tickets for that and we're going to keep selling them right now for only $100. We, are, we, aren't, we aren't making money on this event, guys. Our goal is to surround ourselves with people that want to learn how to turn their craft into cash and, and that's what, what this whole thing's about. So we're trying to uh, get just a very minimal buy-in so that it's just a fun event. And I think the biggest thing that will be there for people is the collaborations. You're gonna meet people that are trying to do the same thing. And we've done a lot of these events. Uh, we've, we've gone to a lot of different, um, different conferences that applied to business, it applied to um, you know, internet marketing applied to uh, general marketing, but nothing that really covered the the business that we teach the the crafter, the right. the the artist, the woodworker. Uh, it did it didn't really didn't really niche down to that, and so that's why we saw kind of a need for this, and so did Artist Till Death, and so did Mixed Media Girl, and Carl Jacobson, and Paul's Toolbox, and Rhonda and Bronson, and uh, we're just gonna have. I don't know. Should I shut up about that event? So, can, you, can you tell we've been working on it? Yeah, we've been working really hard on it. Um, one of the other things uh -oh, um, that I just want to really make sure that you... Can I can I talk about the event area and all that? Is that yeah. Okay? okay, so one of the things that we worked really hard on was negotiating with that location in order to reserve places for you. I'm tell sorry? them the date they're asking. Oh, that? so it's Go April ahead. 3rd and 4th. Awesome. Um, and we, we worked really hard with the location. It's at the Westgate. Um, it's a beautiful hotel. It's gorgeous. There's 26 different restaurants. Like you, you don't really have to, if you don't go check out artisansummit.com. Okay. There's a video of the venue. Right. 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 And, and she's underplaying it. It's I not am. just not, it's sick. So I will just say this out <laughs> loud. I don't love Vegas and I love where we've chosen to do this and it is beautiful and I have a great time there. Um, but what I wanted to make sure that you guys knew was because we negotiated with them and their location, um, we got special rates for you guys. Um, I started checking out recently um, Las Vegas and some of the other reservations. We've only reserved 
Um, those are selective rooms, and some of the rooms in that area are getting sold out pretty fast from other events that are going on. So make sure that you reserve your room along with buying your tickets. And if you've been thinking about it or putting your head, you know, waiting to do that, you might want to check that out soon. So just want to give you a heads up since you are our insiders tonight. All right, I'm, I'm liking what you're doing here. All right, I've had tons of requesting questions and all sorts of stuff while you guys were talking there. So they want you to use the glove technique. Multiple people are asking for that. The glove where you, technique. Where you drag the glove through. Oh, this way? Mm-hmm. Or, oh, that would be kind of cool for your, your thing here. That would be cool. I think that would be good. And... Uh, Forrest, Are they okay with mine? Forrest here uh, has asked multiple times to thank you, Mike, for your juicing video. That has changed his life. Oh, yes, hey. man. Yes. That's so That's great. The, who is that? That is Forrest okay. Creative. Forrest Creative. That account needs to email us. I'm sending you a two-gallon kit, man. Nice. <laughs> yes, dude. Good We're job. So 2019 glad. talks about... What are those called? Uh, New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution. If you're trying to get healthy, um, I, I was I was down and out. Like I, I used to run a lot. I got a bad hip. It was hard for me to continue that. I saw a video about juicing. I watched it three years now. I've been been juicing for yeah. breakfast and lunch. Changed my life too. Good job bringing that up. I know this isn't a juicing channel. You didn't come here to learn how to juice, but. We are about change and taking chances on things that you Send want to do. Create good Did stuff. I, yes. Your body's a good stuff. So yes. there you go. Good, good job, good man. Good, good job. job. Good Congratulations. Job. Send us before and after pictures, man. That'd be awesome. We love that. Encourage each other. That's what this whole thing's for, right? Look All at right. that violet pearl. It's going to be so awesome. Look at that. Email us, uh, Forrest, at stonecoatcountertops at gmail.com. It's going to be tight. I'm getting close for this Let's one. that one. Isn't that neat? Okay. I need. Uh, what can I give you? Give me a little black. Mm. Oh, that's the purple. This is the dark purple. This is gonna be kind of. I'm gonna put a little deep. bit of black right here. All right. You wanna do a little of this deeper purple? Heat it up before you it? swipe. All right. We'll yeah. do. That's what the, quite a few folks are saying. Yes, it would have moved better when I heated it up and then dragged mine. Yeah, I'm gonna torch move. it or tilt or whatever you're gonna do there. This mm. looks exciting. glove technique I will I'll finish with the glove technique because that's gonna give us tight lines right all yeah. right Let's check it out <laughs> Woo! heating it up did help all right did help and you're doing the twist I'm noticing that. Do the twist. So you're putting it down, and then you start kind of like moving it to the side or something. Talk about your technique, honey. Yeah, you get skinny. Okay, you get skinny with it. Okay, let's so watch you can it again. start it fat. Fat, and then turn. you're starting to turn like you're, you're like you're skidding out of something. Yeah. Okay. This is so fun. Pretty fancy. Let me Sorry, guys. I won't be uh, reading any questions. I'm quite mesmerized. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the longer it sits, look at that. It's just like our swipes, how they, the cells start. Yeah. That's so cool. And I don't mind that the paper's not clean either. No. What does that matter? Quite as much. That's so cool, Mike. And it's going to glitter like there are actually sparks flying out of it. Right, that's nice. Very good. Thing. Mitch, yeah. Do you have any sudden urge to sing something right now? <laughs> I do. What about a campfire thing? <laughs> Chris is Chris is getting some Elvis action going on. We are going to Vegas. Well, there you go. I like your forking technique. That's a good idea. Yeah, because flames aren't perfect, right? right They're not right. straight. No, that's a good idea. I like this. This is good. Like that. Very cool. Very cool. You 
kind of lifted some of that yellow and let, dropped it later. Right, right, That's right. That's good. That's good. I like that. I'll be your critiquer. Can I call <laughs> dibs on this one? It's pretty tight. <laughs> I'm liking it, man. You didn't put any blue on this one. Do you notice that? I didn't. I'm sorry. I totally spaced it. But you know what? We punched perfectionism right in the face. Oh, I'm not saying cool. negative. I just noticed it. Wow. Whoa, that other one is cool, too. The way that it's settled. I love this, is pretty. this technique is so much fun. So look at what just one practice board. We've never done this before. No, this is it. And so we thought it'd be cool to show this live. We learned from Insiders page. We said, okay, let's try that. That looks like fun. And I really appreciate that video that Debbie made because a picture's worth a thousand words, a video is worth a million. Right? Yes. You know what I love about the Insiders group, Mike, is that because we share our content freely, others do too. And really, that's what it's all about. Just creating amazing stuff, empowering each other, helping give each other confidence in order to do some awesome projects. So thank you for sharing that and continuing that culture on that channel. Just remember that the whole point is to be awesome. This is great. I've kind of just let you take over this whole by yourself. That's really cool, Mike. It's fun. It is I'm fun. I'm going to heat it up a little bit and probably call this good. All right. I like that violet pearl at the top there. Yeah, I think that's neat. I think I'm going to grab just a couple more strings of it because it, yeah, just grab a couple strings here. You know, just, just to. Prick it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty sweet. Yeah, if you picked it up and dragged it down a little bit, that looks pretty neat. I like that. Chris Weber asks, what pointer would you give a person who has never done this? And the biggest pointer I'd give, and I've given out to hundreds of people over the phone, do a sample board before you do your giant project. You will learn so much in your first try doing a little sample board. You won't use much material. And as soon as you're done, you're going to mix up more and do it again because it's awesome. I'm just scooping up a little bit of this yellow. Kind of dropping it up. We're just dragging it just like, okay. now I'm gonna, yeah, it gives it that highlight up there in the black. Yeah, I think that looks oh, that's great. Cool. Just kind of skipping it a little bit somewhere. Right. Now I'm gonna heat it up. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna, yeah, let me do the you heat gun. the torch or the heat gun? The heat okay. gun. Cause now I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna finesse it. All right. Michael Ryan says, I think Mike is one step away from cutting his left ear off like Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was Van Gogh, but yeah. Oh, 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 I got a story. I'm going to, I'm going to tell this story. So we got such a fun, look at what that yellow does there. I know. It. Did, oh, so this yellow just blew out. Like there was a little bit of drop there. You, you just use that heat gun and you can fade that out just like real fire. That's, that's quite a story, oh. Mike. Okay, that's not the story. <laughs> the story goes, we got this order request, and there was a spot on our order request. Now, don't oh. do this. you got to be original, but there's a spot that says, it says, if you have a note to send, like, do you have a oh. request? Like, it's, I'm going to tell it. She, Catherine's mad at me for telling it. Well, I was going to invite Zach to do it. No, well, okay. check this out. So, Zach, he fulfills our orders in the morning with Ian and with uh, Arthur. And Zach got this particular request that said, Hey, guys, uh, I would like you to write a handwritten joke on my invoice. Never been asked that before. Don't yeah. ask it because it's not original. Now you can't do it. Uh, but, we don't but, have a box of But Zach, Zach, Zach says, he, like, he tells me this and he goes, So I wrote him a joke. I was like, really? What is it, man? He says, well, what? Okay, let me, let me get it right. He I said, slow he, it down. He said, take a breath. He said, what does a rock giant wear when he gets cold? I'm like, a rock giant? What does he wear? First, I'm just processing what a rock giant is. And he blurts out, a stone coat. <laughs> yes, man. That's awesome. Yes. Yes, that was cool. And that so if you don't subscribe, if you don't subscribe because of that joke, Come on. like if you did us a thumbs Fizzle. down, oh. now change it, change it yeah. to a thumbs up. up. <laughs> We're telling jokes. 
Even bad ones. Good I'm ones are sold. different. That was Zach came up with that. I was going to let him come in and do that on a, one of our lives. I loved that. But the look of perplexity when he saw the request was even better than anything else. Right. I like walking up and I'm like, how's it going? You know, when we're talking and he's like, and he's laughing, but he was like, uh, this is the thing. I'm like, go for it, but make it clean. You got to keep it clean. Yep. <laughs> so, hey, Mike. And then he came up with that by himself. Deborah Smith Art, she's the gal who just yes. won the You Got This Award, is tuning yes. in and says, thank you guys. I am so honored. You rock. What do you think? Did I do oh, it okay? wow. Did we do it justice? Great technique. Debra, we love it. Your art is unbelievable. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing it, and we hope that uh, people okay. will go watch that video in its entirety and Great. learn from how you did that. It was awesome. Uh, Rich Fitzgerald says he will stay subscribed despite that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rich. We Whichever. appreciate that. Right. All, All right. right. I think we're good. You need to walk away. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, uh, I had a lot of fun, guys. Mitch, you have fun tonight? I did have fun. I've missed you guys. It's been nearly three weeks with Christmas, New Year's, and now my baby. Right. So if we didn't get to your uh, questions, that's because I was quite mesmerized watching this piece be made. Give us a call tomorrow, 541-450-1976, or shoot us an email at stonecoatcountertops at gmail.com. We have a whole crew of staff here ready to help you. Catherine, what do you have to say to Karina and Jessica? They are rock stars and they're staying tonight, taking all your emails and calls. Our whole team is ready to answer any questions you have, create amazing things, give you the confidence to go to the next level. If you have projects that you want help with, shoot my team an email with the ideas that you're having or give them a call and we're here to help you anytime. Guys, visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call anytime for free project support. Till next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next video.